We welcome you back at 818. Santa Claus is about to get super busy, but before he does, he's making a stop at the Butterfly House in Chesterfield for dinner. You and the kids can join him. In this morning's STL Moms Report, Fox 2's Molly Rose is telling us more about the Supper with Santa event. Yeah, hey there, Randy. We are talking with Jennifer Molex this morning. She is the director of the Butterfly House. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, love the little gnomes that you have set up here. So many new friends. This the summer. hot chocolate. Yeah, yeah I heard cookies. you like a lot of marshmallows. So, oh, this yeah. is uh, this is up my alley. Here. <laughs> so you know, this is just a little sampling of what mm -hmm. people can experience when they go out for this event and they have supper yeah. with Santa. Tell us about it. Yeah. So supper with Santa has really become a tradition. We've watched. Um, um, families um, when they take their Santa photos we've seen every year the babies get bigger and bigger and bigger and so it really be has become a tradition last year unfortunately because of safety we did not hold supper with Santa so um, we are holding it this year and so we're very excited to have the families new and old coming back to the butterfly house for this event and this is a actual dinner. You get pasta yeah. and you sit, it's sort of an indoor outdoor type situation. Yeah, right? so we have some um, safety protocols. When Supper with Santa first started, we used our outdoor heated tent um, uh, for the dinner part. And so what we've done is we've um, brought it back out to the dinner tent as opposed to our main lobby. Um, and that way, you know, families can really spread out, have their own family table. All the pasta and the food is all individually packaged. Um, our staff and volunteers that are manning the food are all masked up and um, all of our safety protocols um, are very heightened during this time. Um, but we really do that so that families can come and have a safe, fun um, holiday tradition. And there's some activities there, right? The Santa workshops. Tell us about those. Yeah, so we are all about creating an event. I am a mom of twins. I don't Ooh. like to be cattle called and moved <laughs> around the way that someone wants me to move um, and be in a certain place at a certain yeah, time. Yeah, that would be difficult. Um, it is, because, you know, and well, just any kids, you know, they have their own schedule. Exactly, you're <laughs> on their time. They're on their time. <laughs> and we want this to be a fun, stress-free environment. You don't have to try to feed your kids before you come to this event. Um, we have these craft activity stations. We have reindeer games. We have a selfie station. And of course, you get to meet Santa um, in your own private little um, room area um, and have a little chat with Santa before you have professional photos. And you get a keepsake photo that's printed right there on spot. And after this dinner, you get dessert, of course. That's yeah. served up by yeah. uh, Mrs. Claus Mrs. herself. Mrs. Claus, yeah. Right. yeah. She's part of the party, too. <laughs> and we have Mrs. Claus's cookie kitchen. Um, and I brought you some chocolate chip cookies. But we also um, we have cookies that are you know gluten-free or allergy-free. We have cookie decorating that the kids can do at the table after they have their, their dinner. Um, and Mrs. Claus is there to help uh, you know, provide some feedback and uh, and some fun at the same time. It sounds like a kid's dream. It is. Uh, and then we're also talking about the winter jewels. Tell us about that transformation. Yeah, so tomorrow the butterfly house transforms into winter jewels, an enchanted holiday celebration. Um, the feature is definitely going to be our 10 fairy gardens that happen to pop up in our tropical conservatory. Um, we have 10 fairies that are um, guardians of our jewel-toned butterflies. And you can journey through and check out the the fairy gardens and it's definitely the highlight feature but we have this really fun color theme this year um, and we're just kind of spreading that out because um, sometimes you know the the white beauty is is the beauty part of winter um, but it definitely in Missouri we get a lot of brown and frosty yeah. and so this brings some brightness and and fun and of course we have um, our gnome forest that we are transforming our cockroach dome uh, habitat <laughs> uh, this winter into a gnome forest so kids are gonna have fun checking out the gnomes and the cockroaches it sounds like it's gonna be a great time. Jennifer, yeah. thank you so much for coming out and joining us this Absolutely. morning. We'll link those details to everybody watching foxdonow.com.